Hey guys, what's up? It's once again it is MP4Podcast.com bringing you guys some of the most interesting video game news that you guys really do need to know about. Now, Steam has officially uh, joined the Linux Foundation. Now, I do know that this story is a little bit old. However, I still do want to uh, touch upon it. You know, Windows has a very, very strong hold on the PC market. It doesn't matter if it's notebooks or gaming computers, whatever. Windows has, like, I don't know, like a friggin' 90% market share or 92% market share. I know Macs are really popular now. They're around, maybe around 7 or 8% or maybe even 10% market share with uh, Macs and so on. But it would be really nice if there was another company out there, you know, that could really give Microsoft a run for their money. And I kind of maybe see maybe Steam OS could be that operating system that could go after Windows. Um, of course, it is free, and there are other versions of Linux which are free. Now, I will say this. Maybe back in 2008 or 2009, I can't remember. Maybe it was 2007. I tried Ubuntu. I didn't really care for it too much. Uh, too much. I know you, you know you can install uh, hundreds of applications right from the Ubuntu store, just a click and download. But there are those applications that uh, you know I wanted, that I had to find out how to do it through line command, and I wasn't really that good at doing it. I've heard it's much better now. However, it would be really nice if there was a Linux operating system. You know, you, you, you go down to Best Buy and say, oh, I like that HP laptop or that Acer laptop. Oh, let me buy that. And it comes with Steam OS. And maybe they could even customize Steam OS as a desktop version and as a gaming operating, oper operating <laughs> OS. Excuse me. Let me just give you an example. Let's say, uh, you know, you have um, this laptop, right? that uh, plays video games like I have this Dell computer this laptop that does play um, I would say most uh, games that are on Xbox 360 and PS3 it can play uh, those games I can play those games on my laptop but the problem with Windows is it takes up a lot more resources than a gaming um, console because the OS is um, you know, made specifically for that hardware. Maybe we can get somewhere in the middle, um, even though laptops and desktops will have different parts compared to, a, um, you know, a console. But I remember an older version of OS X, and this is right when uh, OS X was just coming out, probably about 10 years ago. And they were going through a change from trying to get people off of OS 9 with the applications and all this and OS 9 excuse me excuse me OS 10 it you know if you didn't support this program um, you could reboot into OS 9 and run your applications now of course you can do that with like you can set up a hard drive to run Windows and Linux and do a reboot and so on but it's not really um, easy for the regular average Joe so let, let me go a little bit further into uh, my thinking about this is um, I remember uh, reading an article I can't remember how long ago it might have been like 2004 it was a really long time ago I read about this article and um, basically, so, uh, some guy had an idea of making a gaming OS uh, for PC desktops, and he said that there, you know, this well, my really old computer. One of the reasons I even remember this article is because my old a, uh, desktop was an AMD uh, 1.8 XP, and I don't think the XP had it didn't have anything to do with Windows XP. I don't think like some type of special like uh, back like Windows. 95 uh, again Intel with MME or whatever MM, MMX or something um, but it would be an OS that would des design just for gaming so you would go into your BIOS you would tell the computer to boot directly off of the CD it would boot up this gaming OS and then you would put your game into the, your desktop and it would just run the game from the CD now 
what I'm talking about here with this Steam OS, if Steam could be kind of that bridge point between a debt like your working uh, desktop OS and then your gaming OS where they can use a lot more power because Windows does suck up a lot more juice um, because it's running, you know, it's not, it's it's a multitask machine. So basically you have, you know, your Steam OS for doing all your work. You can browse the web, you can write documents on it. Um, you know, you can install GIMP, which is like Photoshop. It's not as good as Photoshop, but GIMP is actually pretty good. There's a few other tools for Linux. I think they have a video editor and there's a program like Adobe Illustrator. But if Steam did something like this, they could maybe talk to Adobe and say, hey, how about you guys bring over your Adobe software over to the Steam OS on Linux? So when you do want to play your games, right, maybe they could do something where your desktop goes into sleep mode or it just saves it um, kind of like in a file or whatever. So when you reboot or whatever, it goes back to where it was, but you could reboot the OS to go into game mode, and uh, that would free up all the memory. It would just be a complete gaming OS, and I think that would be pretty interesting. And um, I don't know why Windows, I mean Microsoft, hasn't done it. Maybe there are more reasons of why it's much more complicated. But it would be really nice to have a really strong competitor uh, that would take on Microsoft. Um, and don't get me wrong, I like Windows 7. I'm still on it. I haven't upgraded to Windows 8. But I would like to have another competitor. I would like to have another choice um, for PCs. Because like Mac, Apple, you know, everything is their system. It's their OS. They make their computers. You really don't have too much of a choice when it comes to regular PCs. Uh, of course, I know there's Linux and, you know, there's uh, Unix and all this other stuff that's out there. But if they can make, a you know, Steam OS and, like, your grandma could use this version of Linux. Oh, I downloaded this program or whatever. Click, click, it's installed. You know, you don't have to go to, like, the Ubuntu store and look, you know, if it's not in the list or something. That would be a very strong competitor um, that Windows would not like at all. Uh, also, you know, it's it's it seems like a really cool idea. Also, I'm really interested in the Steam Box. I mean, the Steam Box is saying that these games that are going to come out for the Steam Box are going to be 1080p, 60 frames per second, all of them, and. Um, I think they're using like AMD chips that are in the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. However, rumor is that the Steam Box is going to have 16 gigs of RAM. That is a lot more RAM that's in the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Both of those two consoles are 8 gigs. So, you know, the problem with, you know, the 8 gigs is it's, it's kind of... It may actually start to be borderline in a couple of years because these two consoles, that these two next generation consoles, Sony and Microsoft are not taking a loss at it. So we're not getting like a super, super powerful console like the Xbox 360. When the Xbox 360 came out, the GPU was actually a lot more powerful than anything you could buy for your computer. Um, but it seems that maybe a little bit of a waiting time uh, Valve or you know their manufacturers will be able to get a better deal on the RAM and bump up the RAM to 16 gigs. And with a um, Steam OS, which is designed for gaming, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the Steam Box, the, if there are games coming out for for the Steam Box that just blow away the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Um, but then again, you know, I mean, I know the PS3 and the Xbox. 360 are, are old, but I mean, I, I still think they put out a, a, a pretty good graphics. I mean, they're not as good as, you know, the PS4 and the Xbox One, but they do hold their own for what they are. So once again, guys, this has been your boy, mp4podcast.com, signing out. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. Always making new videos all the time. Take it easy, guys. Later, guys. Bye.